Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my July book haul today, which is pretty self-explanatory. I always sit here and film like a huge intro that is just so rambly, like this one's becoming. I have some new books that I wanted to show. I did get a new camera, for those of you who don't know, I announced it, or like I uploaded a picture on Instagram, and I think I tweeted about it, but I finally bought a DSLR, which I have been looking at for months now, so I am filming with that today, so I tried a different angle. So I have some new books to show, which I'm so excited about, and I've shown a few of these in some videos, and then a couple of them I have never shown at all. So I have a lot of really great ones. I've only read two of them so far, but I've heard really good things about a lot of these, so I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm doing so much with my hands. Ugh. I will start with the ones that I've already sort of shown you guys and kind of mentioned. So the first two I've already read. So I've talked about this one a ton, but I did pick up Grey by E.L. James, which is the Fifty Shades of Grey as told by Christian. Finally, finally, finally finished this book like two days ago. It took me so long to get through this. I bought it the same day it came out in stores and I just finished it. So I will talk a little bit more about this in my wrap up, but it definitely took me a lot longer to read than I expected. Another one I got that I've already read is a really small book, but it's so cute. And that is Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling, which is basically the 2008 commencement speech she did at the Harvard graduation in a book form. I had never watched that video, so I picked this up and I loved it. I thought that her speech was really great, but it was just very motivational and I guess inspiring. And I feel like, of course, her writing always just makes me feel good the way she writes. It's just fabulous. And I love the little book. I feel like I have to own everything that she comes out with. So um, I definitely would recommend this if you're a huge Harry Potter or JK Rowling fan. It has some really cool like artwork and illustrations and the font is red and black. And I just, I thought it was so cute and I'm really glad that I have this. Definitely pick this up if you love her. I think you'll enjoy it. So this next book is a duplicate book that I already own. And I actually showed this in my last book haul video and I bought the paperback version of Paper Towns by John Green and then I was in Target a couple weeks ago and they had the hardcover version and so I decided to go ahead and get it too because I prefer having hardcovers and I haven't read it yet. I just started this one last night actually but I figured I would just go ahead and get it too so I've already hauled this before but now I own two copies so I thought I would show you guys again and I did like I said just start reading it so I will keep you guys posted on my thoughts. I think I am going to do a book review, so stay tuned for that. The last one that's sort of a repeat that I've talked about already is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, which is the sequel to To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I still haven't read these yet. Everybody keeps telling me I have to read them, and I love, love, love the covers of these. I think they're so cute. The first one has like a lot of pink and stuff, and then this one's kind of blue, like turquoise teal. And I'm so excited. I was kind of like in a lull period where I tried to read these before and I just wasn't into them. But I've heard so much good hype about these from you guys, so I'm really determined to read these in the next couple weeks. I think I'm going to start them after I finish Paper Towns. So again, I'm going to try to review these. You guys told me you wanted a review of both of them. So I will try and do that and I'm really excited. Okay, so on to some of the things I haven't shown you guys. These books I am really excited about as well. I've heard really great things, which I feel like I say every time, but I try to buy books that I think I'll like, like everyone. The first one is a little bit of a different genre for me. I believe this is an adult book but it's a mystery or suspense, and it's The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I feel like this book has been very popular this year. I've seen it everywhere, and I've heard sort of mixed reviews. I'm interested to see what I think because I don't read too many like mystery suspense stories like this, but they have compared it to Gone Girl or like a Gillian Flynn novel, which I did really like. So I will keep you guys posted. I know that Max from Well Done Books said he thought it was just okay. Um, but I'm sure he probably reads a ton of other books like this, so I'm not sure if I'll have as much to compare it to like he does, but I'm still really excited. I think it has a really interesting um, font and kind of cover. I think it's very intriguing, so let me know again if you've read this or not, or if you guys want to review, because I'm excited to check it out. I am so excited for this next one. I've only seen a couple people show this, but I saw somebody talk about it, and then I saw it in the store, and I had to get it. And that is Magonia, which is by Maria Devanya Headley. 
and I don't know too much about this but I do know like the general idea is basically about a girl who is sick I think she goes into a coma or something and then she ends up passing away but instead of going to like heaven or wherever she goes to another world called Magonia and I think it has to do with magic maybe I'm not exactly sure I think she gets all these powers and all kinds of stuff and it just sounds really interesting I think it got decent reviews as well and the cover is gorgeous it looks so beautiful I love it and it was blurbed by Neil Gaiman and Victoria Aveyard um, and Django Wexler so it's gotten pretty good reviews so hopefully I like this one too. I also decided to pick up An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, is that right? I hope so. I almost bought this book before, um, like a couple months ago, I almost bought this when it was first coming out everybody was raving about it and then I decided that I didn't know if I would like it because of the premise and so I put it back. And then after that I kept seeing so much good hype and review about this book and I believe it's a fantasy which I love. I love fantasy stories and I've heard it's amazing so I decided I would get it and try it out. I love the cover too. It's very cool. It reminds me of The Darkest Minds, um, The Spine. Let's see, I'll show you guys. They're very similar, right? It looks so similar. This one's just a lot bigger. So I thought that that was really cool too, but I love the cover. It's got that same feel as the fifth wave does that I talk about every time I talk about the fifth wave. It has that nice like rubberized matte feel and I just love it. I'm excited for all of them, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. And I saved the very best for last. I'm so in love with this. I cannot even express how much I love this and I haven't opened it yet, but I will show you guys like the outside of it. I decided to pick up the Peter Pan beautiful, just wonderful edition that the, who did it? Harper released this limited edition cover edition of Peter Pan. It is so stunning. It is so beautiful. It looks 10 times better in person. I kid you not. And inside the pages are really pretty and it has a lot of illustrations and pop-ups that you can actually play with and do all sorts of stuff with. And I just think it's so pretty. I saw Riley show this on her um, channel a couple of weeks ago. She did a book haul and I wanted it ever since then and then I saw it in the store and I was so awed. I had to get it. So um, I bought mine from Books Million. They had it on Disney play where you could look at it and everything and then they came wrapped so I haven't unwrapped mine yet because I just don't want to mess it up but it is so pretty and I'm so excited to read this because I never actually read Peter Pan I don't actually think I've seen any of the movies or anything like that either obviously I know what Peter Pan's about but I don't remember ever watching it hope that they come out with more editions like this this one was designed by Mina Lima um, who did a lot of like the visual prints and effects and stuff for the Harry Potter movies I believe so that's really cool too and I just love it so I'm so so excited to have this and yeah okay guys so that is all for today's video I hope you all enjoyed my July book haul if you have bought any new books recently that you're excited about let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you all next time bye guys Should've been